Good afternoon. Today is Wednesday, October 11th, 2017. I'm Mason Scott. Northern California is still in flames. And I'm Brianna Boutet. An asteroid the size of a house is due to pass close to Earth on Thursday. The news is next. Last weekend, the Wildcat Marching Band placed first in its division and third overall at a competition in Reno, Nevada, beating schools from California, Idaho, and Nevada. Friday night, they'll be here, marching your inter for your entertainment during halftime. Come out Friday night and let the football and band seniors know how much you love them. Be early so you can catch the farewells. Kickoff, they also take home caption awards for outstanding brass and outstanding woodwinds. There, will be, there were schools in attendance from Nevada and California. They placed one point behind Nampa High School and last year's Nevada State Champion, DeMont Ranch High School. Tonight we have the bonfire out by the baseball field. This is your chance to stand around a fire and enjoy the company of your fellow students. Please park in the student lot and walk to the bonfire. There will be no parking by the baseball field. Seniors, if you are not in the high school life class this semester you are interested and you are interested in the CWI or CWI rep wants to meet with you next Tuesday in the Career Center. They will provide free pizza to attend. Please sign up with Ms. Carson in the counseling office by this Friday. Don't miss out. Want to explore up to 80 colleges in one setting? There will be a college fair at Expo Idaho on November 1st for any interested students from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Any student and parent may attend. Columbia will be busing the first 50 juniors to have permission slips turned in to Mrs. Carson. Please stop by counseling for more information. Need a spooky start to the Halloween season? Bring a hand to hold and catch the legend of Sleepy Hollow in the auditorium. Your friends will be haunting you in the entire audience. Tickets are only five bucks at the door if you bring three canned food items. The next show opens Friday at 7 p.m. This show is suitable for all ages, so come down to the auditorium and check it out. Today's sports, 5 p.m. boys varsity soccer at the district tournament, 5 p.m. girls varsity soccer at the district tournament. We'll be right back after this. Columbia Student Senior Night, October 13th, the last home football game. Come support the team and all the seniors in band and football. Let's get the win and come watch the band play some awesome instruments during halftime. The game is a pink out. It's all about the seniors, so let's show them the love we have for them. Save the day and remember, October 13th, Senior Night. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression. Make yours a good one and visit Dr. Keller today. Today's high is a high of 57 with a low of 32. Tomorrow is a high of 54 with a low of 40. Back to you, Brianna. Thank you, Mason. Northern California wildfires have taken a tragic toll on this area's wine country and its surrounding towns, killing at least 17 people and reducing hundreds of homes and businesses to nothing but rubble and ash since Sunday night. The fires impacting Butte, Lake Na Napa, Nevada, Mendocino, Sonoma, and Yuba counties are so massive that they can be seen from space. More than 2,000 structures have been destroyed along with over 120,000 acres. Almost 200 people are currently missing. Strong winds continue to drive the fires. A house-sized asteroid will give Earth a near miss on Thursday, dubbed 2012-2C4, the space rock will shave past an altitude of less than 44,000 kilometers, just above the 36,000 kilometer plane at which hundreds of geo satellites orbit the Earth. NASA assures the world that we are at, and our artificial satellites are not in danger. The asteroid was first spotted five years ago when it passed Earth at about double Thursday's projected distance force disappearing from view. Scientists say it will also not hit the Earth when it returns in the year 2050, but that close flyby might deflect the asteroid enough that it could hit the Earth in the year 2079. NASA will be keeping an eye on things. The SAT word of the day is gravity, which means importance, seriousness. You could use it this way. Her stern look reinforced the gravity of the situation. Thanks for watching. Remember, live, live the, the wildcat wild way. way.